my Y family. So uh, let's get moving on the shoulders, right? So we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders and I know I've been focusing on a lot because uh, we're watching our screens. So we're gonna work on uh, what some people call apple pickers, but we live in North Florida, so I'm gonna call it orange pickers. So find something light like an apple or an orange, uh, maybe a squishy ball, and let's get moving on those shoulders. So we're gonna work on what's called protraction and retraction. So come to a neutral stance. So make sure that you're stacked, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles, right? So nice, relaxed stance. Grab your fruit. So hold the fruit in your hand. Begin to lift up. Find your extension halfway up. And then like you're punching, like a boxer's punch, reach forward, extend that extra six inch, right? So that's protraction there. You can feel that in the shoulder. And begin with that, with that protraction, begin to extend the arm up overhead, reaching the shoulder. You can feel that movement there. And then with control, slowly make your way back down, still with that protraction, still with that extension, and then pull it back in. Retraction. And allow the orange to go back into your basket. All right, so let's do that again. So neutral stance, roll those shoulders, wiggle, 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 and here we go. Find your fruit and bring the hand up to shoulder height, hold on to your fruit, protraction, extend forward, like you're reaching, feel that extra couple of inches there, and begin to lift up into full extension, of the shoulder and then with control begin to come back down to shoulder height retract and allow the fruit to come down by the hip all right so try to work on one set of ten so ten times one at a time so make them each their individual set one set of ten so or what I should say is 10 sets of one. <laughs> so work on your fruit pickers, working with that protraction, retraction, just getting those shoulders warmed up. All right, on to the next one. So now that we have that, we've played with our fruit, we've done it on both sides, I'd like you to come up onto a wall and you're going to do the same thing, but we're going to screw our hands into the wall. So let me turn my view here. There you go. And get a full, full view of my son's room. All right. So stand away from the wall, arm length, shoulder height with your fist. And you may want to put socks or gloves or something that will allow your hands, if you can, uh, rotate them to slide on the wall. So feel that protraction. Punch into the wall, feel the engagement, and then just begin to slowly rotate the hands, the fists, into their full rotation as much as you can. Rotating in, 10 sets of one. All right. And then release the hands down. Once you've done those set, wiggle it out, wiggle it out. Let's come back down for the final one now. So this is going to be called a push-up plus, right? For you yogis, it's going to be a very angry cat. So come onto the knees, onto that R, all four position, and just begin to get comfortable here with the shoulder movement. So drop the chest down between the hands, allow it to be saggy and then push back up. Feel the shoulder blades move around in there, move around the rib cage. Drop it down. It's a small movement. All right. Extend the legs back so that you're in a little bit of an angle and really try to extend those shoulders up towards the ceiling and then drop them down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push up, 
push, 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 drop them down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push up, drop them down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push up and stay here. Stay in that angry cat, that full protraction, and then slowly send the hips back towards the heels. Keep as far as the extension can go and then stay in that protraction, come back up, drop down into neutral. Wiggle it out, wiggle it out. All right, so let's try that again. So come into all fours, bring the feet in, send the shoulders up into that uh, protraction, that angry cat, poof, 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 then drop them down, retract, poof, 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 retract, Poof, poof, poof. Retract one more. Poof it up. Send that angry cat up. Push, push, push. And then send the knees back and begin to sit back in that protracted move. And then come back up. And allow yourself to come back into retraction. And then find neutral. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Roll it up, okay, and finally, come in for robot arms. So just having the shoulder blades feel contact with a wall or a door. Have one arm up, make the fist, have the other arm down, and then slowly, 10 sets of one, try to rotate the arms in opposite direction. Notice that the top hand may be able to hit, but the lower one won't, unless you come off the wall, right? You wanna stay in contact. Keep the shoulder blades on the wall. And just slowly move, getting that feedback, moving within your range of motion. Robot arm. All right, once again, 10 sets of one. All right, once you've done that, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. You should have happy shoulders now. 